Good morning. This is Tracy from Hands to Work, and this is my floss tube video number three. It's taken me a while to get to this third one. I've wanted to do it again and again, and then things just keep happening and it doesn't work out. So, I have a lot of things to tell you today. Um, I'm upstairs in my office slash sewing room slash let's put everything in this room when company comes. And so it's generally in a state of disrepair. Um, so you can kind of see some of the mess there, but um, it works really well for me. And yeah, it, it's a very small room. Um, it's our fourth bedroom and actually our house would be better if we had three bedrooms that were just a little bit bigger. Our master bath is so tiny that only one person can get in there. So I always laugh when I call it our master bath. Um, so anyway, we just got back from vacation. We went to Myrtle Beach with Chuck's brother and sister-in-law and stayed for a week. Well, we left on Sunday um, here, drove down, and then we left there Friday morning. Um, Chuck and I did. Jimmy and Cassie stayed for another few days. And um, while we were down there, Chuck and I had our 39th anniversary, which was fun. We went out to eat. We didn't do anything exciting, but um, my idea of a great vacation, a great beach vacation, is to go to the beach, sit under the umbrella, and read all day. I really don't swim in the ocean. I'll put, I maybe get up to my knees. Um, there was a pool where we stayed, so we'd sit at the beach most of the day and then uh, go to the pool late afternoon and then go out to eat. So it was a very nice relaxing week. Friday morning Chuck and I got up and we drove to Weaverville, North Carolina and if you don't know that is the home of Sassy Jack's Stitchery. Uh, I asked him before we left if he would mind we could go to Asheville and then maybe while we're there I could stop in the you know the shop and he's so nice he's so good to me and very tolerant and so he said sure so we stayed in an airbnb loft which was above a garage uh, beside a house really nice very clean very very nice perfect for the two of us and we stayed for two nights there so saturday morning first thing we got up we you know messed around in the morning and then walked we were maybe two blocks from the shop so we walked down, ate breakfast at Well Bread, I think is what it was called, a little bakery beside um, Sassy Jack's. And then I went into Sassy Jack's and it was so wonderful. It was really awesome. It was overwhelming for me. Uh, there was, She has a lot of inventory and she has a ton of fabric. And when I have a lot of choices, my brain kind of shuts down. So. I had a hard time. I carried charts around the shop and then put them back and then pick them another one up and then get everything to go with it and then put it back. I just, I had a really hard time. I did settle on a chart and a few pieces of fabric, which I'll show you in a minute. So it was well worth the trip and I hope to go back. Um, Chuck said he would be happy to go back. We didn't go through the Biltmore. It was really hot. Um, Weaverville is wonderful. It's right outside, maybe 15 minutes from Asheville. Asheville was packed. Uh, we walked around Asheville, um, went in some shops. I picked up a couple little Christmas presents. And then we drove to the west side of Asheville and ate at a Mexican restaurant for lunch that was delicious. It was so, so good. We ate mid-afternoon and stuffed ourselves. I didn't mean to eat so much, but it was so good I couldn't stop. And then we still brought some back with us. Um, and then didn't eat dinner because we were too full. Um, but it, it, the Biltmore, I'm sure, would have been really crowded. And, and we thought we'd go another time uh, when we had a little more time. And I wasn't so obsessed with going to see Kim at Sassy Jack's. So, um, and then we came home yesterday. We got home mm, around 1 o'clock. And the dog is Helen is so wound up. She's an anxious dog anyway. She's always been anxious. She can't settle down. She's so happy we're home that she's a mess. 
So I took her for a walk this morning. I put her in the car and took her for a ride and she still can't settle. She's been up and down. And so you may hear her whining and panting here in a little bit if she comes back. But anyway, she's fine. She's just anxious. Um, a few weeks ago, I shared a picture on Instagram of a new sampler I bought. This is the last one I'm gonna have for a while. Um, and it's it's really pretty. I'm gonna put it on top of this frame. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. Anne's King, Anne King North's work finished February 1861, age eight years. I love verses. I love alphabets. Um, I know I, I love houses. I love houses and, and fruit bowls and samplers, but the ones that I really love are so daggone expensive. So I'm um, always drawn to these ones with verses. And I think this one is so sweet. It's a nice, good size. It's in excellent condition. And the great colors, gold and green and blue, and I really love it. So that is my latest antique sampler, and I think it's the last one I'm gonna get for a while. Um, I've been getting dirty looks on spending because, you know, we don't have income anymore. So I guess I have to um, tone it down a little bit. Oh, it's so hot. I don't know how people live in the deep south. Honestly, it's humid. Um, uh, I'm on the second floor, it's always a little warmer up here. I have a fan going, but I am so daggone hot, I can't seem to get cooled off. So you Southern girls, more power to you because I can't, I mean, I, I feel like I need to go way north for the summer. It's just too hot for me anymore. Um, once fall comes and it cools down, it's great. I really don't mind winter either, but the humidity just kills me. So, um, some things that I've, well, a couple things that I've finished. Um, I showed this on Instagram as well, Sarah Casey Unwin, and I put it in this frame that I got years ago from Lori at Not Forgotten Farm at her shop. And when I bought it, I had an idea of what I wanted to put in it. But then my idea changed. So it's been sitting in my office for all this time. And so <clears throat> I wanted to get this framed. Um, and Chuck really didn't want me to spend the money right away. And I thought, well, let me see if it, what will fit in this frame. And it's, it's tight. I mean, it goes right up to the edge. And it's, as you can see, there's more room on the top and bottom. But I laced it and popped it in there. And I love it. I'm really happy with it. I don't know if I'll keep it in there long term because I don't like the linen laying up against the wood. Um, but anyway, it's really cool for now. I always put glass over my samplers because I have animals and every time the fan turns on in the house, the fur flies around. But um, anyway, this is, this is how it's gonna stay for now. And I'm really, really pleased with it. And I'm pleased with myself for lacing it and putting it in there. You know, pretty awesome for that. Well, there's the dog. Hello, puppy. The other thing that I've been doing, um, I've been wanting to make project bags. Now, this is not something that I would ever do, make them and sell them. They're a lot of work. Um, it takes a lot of time. You have to make sure you have the supplies. Go lay down, go lay down. Go. No one wants to hear you. Go lay down. Go on. Go. Good girl. But I have a lot of things that need a project bag. And again, trying to save money and trying to, you know, be careful with my spending. But well, I have so much fabric because, you know, I'm a collector. I collect everything that I decided I'd give it a try. So I've made three small and one large bag. And I'm so proud of myself. I feel like I have really done something amazing. <laughs> there, you know, there's a lot of mistakes and they're not perfect. This is the large bag. And this is a Moda fabric that I got when I was at Virginia Beach at Dying to Stitch with Carol Sim Sampler Farm. And I think it's really pretty. And 
when the vinyl front um, bags first came out, Mama Joan made them, and I saw them several years ago. She had them at a Dying to Stitch retreat, and I didn't love them. I don't know why. They just didn't appeal to me, but now I do because I really like to be able to see what's in my bag, and I don't want to have, you know, a tag on everything. I love the little um, zipper pulls, but I don't want a big tag. So these work perfect for me. I'm just thrilled. Um, another one that I made was with this Santa fabric. And I have this all bundled up that I've had for a good while. I'm thinking about stitching this over one. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, I have the um, threads and the chart in the Christmas one. It's, I think it's super cute. Very happy with it. Um, I have this little one. I got this little tag from Dying to Stitch. And it says something on the back. With love. It's like a little envelope with a heart. It's so cute. And... So this has a Not Forgotten Farm sampler, sepia sampler, stitched with DMC. It's not a real involved piece, so I don't think it would take much time to finish it up. And there's the colors. So I have that one ready. The inside of this has the um, blue and yellow stripe. I've had this fabric for, I don't even know how long. I don't remember why. I probably bought it to make something for Lily um, when she was smaller. She's at the age now where she doesn't want to make anything that Pippa, or wear anything that Pippa makes for her because she's almost 12 and she wants to look just like everybody else at school. So the handmade stuff is done. And then the last one that I made is um, this red. I also got this in... Um, at Virginia Beach at a little quilt shop when I was with Carol. And it has that kind of orangey red on the back, tomato, like a tomato red. And I love it. And it has another one that I got from Dying to Stitch. It's a little teacup with a heart in it. So cute. And this one is holding um, Anna Grater. I've had this one for a long, long time. And I, I don't know why I haven't started it. But anyway, it's all kitted up and ready to go. I need more time. So those are the things I've been making. Been having a lot of fun with that. The other thing I wanna to try to make, I don't know if any of you watch um, the So Grateful Floss Tube, um, Daylene Wilson, I think is her last name. She made a shark pencil case for her grandsons and I found the pattern and I want to try to make that for Wyatt. Wyatt started preschool this morning. He's four, he'll, he's almost five, but uh, he won't go to kindergarten until next year. And so I want to make that for him and it, uh, I cut out the fabric and it looks really difficult, but I'm going to give it a try. And if it's not perfect, you know, he's four and he's a boy and I don't think he'll care, but I'm going to give that a try so that I don't, it's, I've had a lot of fun just whipping things up. I hadn't sewn for the longest time and I'm kind of getting excited about sewing again. I have, as you can see, I have a beautiful sewing machine and I have a serger that I don't even know how to use. Um, I bought those things knowing that when I retired, I wouldn't be able to afford them. So I tried to buy, you know, nice things that I would have for retirement. So I need to start using them. New items that I've gotten. Um, I saw this, oh, I can't remember who had this. Oh, it was Brenda, sampler stitcher. She was um, showing her sampler walls, which are amazing. And I saw this on there and I, oh, I love it. So I had to buy it because, you know, everyone wants to be like Brenda. Her finished pieces are amazing. She has the smalls, the samplers, um, she stitches very quickly and she works full time and she travels and I don't know how she gets it all done. I'm always amazed. I've had this one for a little while but um, I'm anxious to get, this is not me, 
but my sister loves flamingos. She even has a tattoo of a flamingo on her ankle. She loves them. And she started stitching again. And so I'm going to make this for her. I got the little pin that goes in it. And so I need to get going on this. I think it is super cute. And I really do love it. So uh, I'm going to stitch that for her. The things that I got from Sassy Jacks. I got, after looking, after handling just about every reproduction sampler chart she had in the shop, and there were lots, I settled on Esther Benson, 1739. And the reason I got it is for this part right here. Adam and Eve, which is wonderful, but the moon, look at that sun. I love it. It's so quirky and funky and even just this part would be amazing stitched but I love the whole thing but that's my favorite part it has purple which I'm not a purple person but it's really cool I almost bought the silks and then I decided not to I'll probably stitch it in DMC but I wanted the silks really bad we'll see I might change my mind I'll think about it for a while and then I don't know. Um, the other thing I got was one of the little needle minders, needle nannies, whatever you call them. Can you, oh, over here. I, got, I love that sun. So I got that. And I got, um, she gave me the, uh, she showed these on her YouTube video. Um, the little, um, what do you call it? You put it on the back of your sampler just so you remember and for going forward, um, who stitched it, etc., etc. So she put that in there. I bought one of her cards that goes with the sampler that I bought because I'm in love with it. I'm kind of obsessed. And I got a piece of straw. It's Weeks Dye Works, um, 56 count. I just, I just thought I needed it. 56 count. I, I don't know. I, I think I can do it. Um, just having the right size needle and thread, silk thread, but. It's really pretty and it feels so nice so I got that actually this piece was cut for Harriet salt and I'm kind of thinking that maybe I'll give that one a try I'm not sure um, I got a little piece of what is this 46 count and it's weeks parchment well, it's just a nice size not huge and then the last thing I got, oops, dropped something, was the Weeks Aztec Red, and it's in 46 count. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but look at that color. Ugh. I love it. So it jumped onto the counter with my other things, and what was I to do? I had to buy it. And a little sticker which I will put in my journal so it was it was a lot of fun there um, Kim was so nice very friendly very easy to talk to uh, I could have spent the whole day there but my husband was sitting outside waiting and it makes me feel kind of anxious like I need to get out there so he's not bored he's very nice and he never complains but I feel bad so um, I took as much time as I felt that I could, but I can't wait to go back. Loved it. It was wonderful. If you're in the area, if you have any way to get there, I highly recommend it. So that was, it seems like it's not very much, but it was $150 <laughs> for those few little things. Um, great fun. So the other thing I wanted to show you today was I have some things from, oh, I have a work in progress and I showed you this before, this Threads of Gold Jane Grey Malton, <clears throat> excuse me, and I 
it's an it's an old one I think I got this one from kitten stitcher Teresa and so I got the DMC threads to go with it and I'm stitching it on a piece of 40 count oh I think this is 36 count straw maybe I think that's what it is anyway mm. I'm just not loving it. Let me put something behind it. Let's see if this helps. I don't know. I have to redo this because I made a mistake. Um, <clears throat> but I'm, I'm not loving it. I might push through. It's not that big. Finish it up. I hate changing colors every letter. It gets on my nerves. And... And don't love the fabric and I don't love the colors but I hate to not finish it so I don't know if I'll put it away for a while or I'll come back to it later um, these are the colors and I thought they looked pretty when I put them up but it's, it's I don't know if it's the color of the fabric I'm I'm not loving it so we'll see um, so I have some things, uh, I have so many things that I've had for a long time, things I've stitched, things people have given me, things I've purchased, and uh, so from the vault is what I'm calling it, and uh, so this time I'm going to show you a couple things, and the first thing is so amazing, and unfortunately, I might have it written down somewhere, but I do not remember the name of the woman who gave me this piece. I should have put it on the back. Um, it's shameful that I don't remember. I had things packed away because we had done some work on the house, and I had a lot of things packed away. And I've, I've been, as I've been going through things and getting rid of things and rearranging and that sort of thing, I came across this, and it had fallen apart out of the frame, and the trim had come off. Why is this not up? I need to look at it every day. It's that beautiful. So I, I put it back together and I put the trim back on. And so this is a design, an old design of mine. Merry Christmas Bird, I think was the name of it. And this is on 40 count silk gauze. Is that not amazing? Look at that. It is perfect. It's so tiny. And look at all, I mean, there's so much fill in. I don't know how she did it. And then to gift it, she came to one of my retreats and she gave this to me. And wow, I, I find that amazing. Um, it's so beautiful. What a treasure. So there's my first from the vault. My second thing I'm going to show you is so incredibly awesome that you will know that I've been creative since I was very young. You will be jealous of my creative skill. I must have been in fifth grade. It has the picture of me from fifth grade, which also is awesome. You will see that I have been a weirdo <laughs> my whole life. <laughs> My mom um, gave me a box of things that she had saved. I, I really, I'm not sure why she saved this. This is so bad. I gave this to her probably for her birthday. And there it is. Wow. I can't believe she didn't have it framed. <laughs> oh, incredible. So, from, that's from the early years. I was, yes, I was amazing, even then. Also from the vault, I have, on Easter Day, Emma Rake, 1810. I got this from the attic. It's really pretty. And I really love it. It has... Lakeside Legacy Linen that is $52.60. What was 
I thinking? I don't know. It's like a pillowcase. Look at that. I don't know. It's beautiful and it feels fabulous, but ooh, I don't know. Should have done this a long time ago, maybe. And then it also has the silks. Look at the colors. Tudor silk. So pretty. So, this is patiently waiting since. Is there a date on here? Hmm. I don't know. Long time. Oh, the things I have. <laughs> I don't know why I ever buy anything new. I don't need it. And then here's my last thing. And I bought this. I was on a trip with some friends. And I want to say Kathy Campbell, Kathy Barrick, Carol Sims probably. Um, I don't remember who else. Where did we went to? Oh, I don't remember. We went somewhere. And so this is a, an Historic Needlework Guild limited edition kit. And it's this little tiny twee. It comes with a button. It comes with, oops, all the um, silks. Some silk for the lining. It comes with the linen. This is what the inside looks like. Now, if I ever get around to stitching this, it's all over one. Um, I think I would have someone else put that together for me because I would hate to ruin it. And let me see if there's any other pictures. Oh, it does have this. It's Kit number 175 out of 500. Hmm. Fancy, huh? It looks like maybe a 32 count linen. It has finishing instructions, but like I said, I, I don't think I would attempt that, but I would like to stitch it. It's, it's beautiful. And I love anything nautical. Pretty cool. So, those are the items from the vault. I'm sure I'll come up with something pretty cool next time. Um, I have some other things I want to show, but I didn't want this to go on too long. I like to keep them at about 30 minutes. So, um, I will try to do another video in a couple weeks. Uh, I think there were a couple questions from my first video about what linens I used on a couple of my samplers and I keep forgetting to look I will answer those questions so bear with me and um, uh, I had something else to say and it just popped out of my head I really do appreciate all the nice comments um, all the subscribers I certainly did not expect anyone to subscribe and everyone has been very very kind which I appreciate I love watching um, the videos and I think we all love to talk about our stitching and what we want to do and what we finished and um, that sort of thing so it, it is fun to share this has been a fun outlet for me and I plan on continuing so um, thank you so much everyone has been awesome I hope you have a great week I can't believe it's the middle of getting close to the end of August School has been in session here for a couple weeks already. Lily went back on August 6th, 5th, 6th, something like that. Um, and then, like I said, Wyatt started today at preschool. So, um, yeah, things are in full swing for fall. Uh, as you know, um, if you've been in, in any of the stores, Hobby Lobby especially, it's had Christmas things out for weeks. Um, everything is fully focused on fall. And I'm not a big seasonal decorator, but I am starting